Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to avoid morning sickness in six simple steps. And I know morning sickness is something that can be torturous for people. What's worse than feeling nauseous all day long? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to start avoiding that in six simple steps. And number one thing you need to do if you want to avoid morning sickness and overcome morning sickness is really pay particular close attention to your diet and first avoid foods that can cause the feelings of nausea. Now here are some of the most common foods. Number one is caffeine. If you're a, typically a coffee drinker or consume a lot of caffeine, the problem there, especially when you're pregnant, it can cause issues with your blood sugar and your energy to go up and down. What we wanna create for you is a simple balance of energy and focus throughout the entire day and blood sugar and insulin levels, when those insulin levels spike, it can cause those feelings of nausea. So staying away from caffeine or going very light, switching from coffee to tea is gonna be a smart thing to do to avoid morning sickness. The other thing you wanna stay away from is foods that have a very strong scent. You wanna uh, stay away from foods such as cruciferous vegetables during that time. And again, I'm not telling you not to eat broccoli during your pregnancy. What I'm saying is if you are in that period of time where you're feeling that morning sickness, that nausea, cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and Brussels sprouts and cabbage give off that cruciferous, that sulfur smell, and sulfur-containing foods in that smell can tend to make people feel nauseous. Eggs are similar. Eggs can have, are full of sulfur, as are onions, and those can cause people to have that nausea-like feeling or increased morning sick, uh, sickness symptoms. The other thing would be seafood, such as fish. Now, there is particular uh, concern with some people about mercury levels. I do think doing wild-caught Pacific salmon is completely fine, but I think in general for morning sickness, we know that seafood, whether it be shrimp or uh, any type of fish, that can bring up morning sickness symptoms as well. And so those are the big ones. So again, if you have morning sickness, I would really look at your fridge and have your spouse clear out those foods that might make you feel nauseous or cause morning sickness. Then the number two thing to do is replace those foods with foods that are more mild in flavor or more bland. And here are some of the best foods if you have morning sickness. One of the top foods in Chinese medicine is rice or kanji. So again, rice is a really long, slow cooked rice, whether it's white rice or brown rice, but doing a rice or a kanji is one of the best things you could do. So you could do a cream of rice for breakfast, uh, you could do rice pudding for dessert, uh, just regular rice for, during the day, but rice is one of the best foods. The other thing is fruit, just in general, Fruit is bland, it's easy to digest, it has that mild sweetness to it. So again, doing fruit is great. The next would be cooked veggies. Now, not necessarily broccoli and cabbage and those, but things like, uh, like carrots um, are fantastic. And so carrots and squashes, like butternut squash or pumpkin, those things are very mild, they're easy to digest. And also, in Chinese medicine, they're nourishing to your what's called the earth element, which is really important during pregnancy. So again, uh, squashes, those types of vegetables are great. You wanna make sure they're cooked and not raw, but cooked vegetables and then organic meat like chicken. Chicken is one of the best meats you can eat. And then the best, one of the best ways to get protein is through bone broth. You can do a bone broth powder or a bone broth liquid, but a bone broth soup is one of the best things you could do to help avoid morning sickness. Um, and the other food I do want to mention here as well is ginger. Doing, drinking ginger tea or doing ginger root. Ginger root has been shown to relieve uh, nausea. So ginger is very great as well. And also doing some peppermint. You could do a peppermint chocolate smoothie for breakfast. Do some uh, chocolate bone broth protein powder, a, a drop of peppermint oil, and uh, you know some fruit. It's a great thing to do there for breakfast and can help with nausea and morning sickness. And actually coconut can be good as well. Coconut for many people, especially coconut oil or coconut milk, is good for blood sugar levels. Number three thing you should do to get rid of nausea and morning sickness is to not skip meals. This is one of the biggest lessons. Even if you're feeling lightly nauseous and don't feel like eating, you should eat something small because when you get really hungry and your stomach gets empty, that's when that morning sickness can really kick in or that nausea that you're experiencing. So listen, do not skip breakfast especially. Even if it's just something small and light, like a little bit of rice and broth or 
a few bites of fruit. Just getting a little something in your system can help. Number four, try acupuncture. Acupuncture is great for morning si sickness. It's great for supporting your organs during pregnancy. Again, try acupuncture from a licensed acupuncture therapist. Acupuncturists can actually go to certain organs in the body, help strengthen them, which can help relieve morning sickness. Number five, use essential oils. Here are my top four essential oils for morning sickness. Number one, chamomile oil. Ram Roman chamomile is very good for your digestion. It's also good for relaxing the body. So chamomile is great. You can just do a couple drops, rub it on your temples and on your neck. Chamomile oil. Number two, lavender essential oil. Lavender is a floral oil that has a great and beautiful scent. It's been shown to and been proven to in medical studies to reduce nausea and morning sickness. Number three, ginger. Ginger essential oil, similar, great for digestion, great for creating healthy levels of inflammation in the body. Similar thing, ginger oil mixed with some coconut oil, great to use topically. And last but not least is peppermint essential oil. Peppermint oil, you can rub that on your neck. So I do one to two drops of peppermint oil, teaspoon of coconut oil, just rub it on your body, your chest, your neck, your temples, and that can help relieve morning sickness and nausea. And last but not least, doing light exercise. Now when you have morning sickness, the last thing you feel like doing is moving. What you probably feel like doing is laying in bed in the fetal position and not moving, but Getting out and getting some light movement is actually very good. So once you feel even generally well enough to get up and move, you know, eating something very light, a light meal, and then just doing, now I'm not talking about doing hardcore exercise. You, you don't want to be going and doing, you know, probably CrossFit or Olympic weight training, but, you know, getting and doing 20 to 30 minutes of something light, some light weight, some light cardio, just getting some good movement is a great thing to do for morning sickness. Even though you may not feel like it, doing some light cardio, some light weights, and some stretching, something like a bar class actually can be fantastic, one of the best things to do, but light exercise actually overall, even though you may not feel like it, can actually relieve that morning sickness symptom. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed these tips on how to get rid of morning sickness. For more tips like this, you can check out my website, drax.com. That's D-R-A-X-E.com. And also, hey, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure to do so. I've got a lot more natural remedies for transforming your health. This has been me, Dr. Axe, talking about how to avoid morning sickness.